The CSIR aims to develop a biometric system to determine or verify identities of children throughout their childhood using a reference biometric sample captured during infancy. Biometrics are your fingerprints, your iris, face or even the way you walk. The system is meant to help prevent identity fraud involving children. Currently, systems which are instrumental in the prevention of identity fraud do not cater for children's identities. Children grow, uh, particularly in the stages of infancy as well as in the stages of adolescence. So during those times, the sample that you had acquired when they were younger could look very different from when they're older. The fingerprint, the iris and the outer ear shape have been identified as suitable biometrics for this application. Researchers aim to determine which of these three are best suited. The iris is the most unique and most permanent biometric. However, the challenge with acquiring iris scans from very young children, particularly infants, is that they are often sleeping and thus have their eyes closed. The ear is a new avenue that the CSR is looking into. The pattern or external shape of the ear is fairly consistent as the child grows. We will be looking into 2D to 3D matching. The 3D capturing allows us to extract more information about the ear itself. For the capturing of the ear, we use a 3D scanner and the scanner basically uh, projects patterns on the ear and this captures multiple scans and these scans are stitched together to create a full 3D representation of the ear. To give us more flexibility around the head, we created a motorized mount that will move 3D scanner and capture multiple scans automatically where we can stitch this image to create a full 3D representation of the ear. The appealing thing about fingerprints is that they are stable from the time a child is born and also they're very unique, unlike other biometrics. Even though the child grows, the actual pattern itself remains the same. The first thing with acquiring a fingerprint from a child is that they're not so cooperative, so you might not be able to extend their hands. The second thing is the skin of the fingertips of children tends to be a lot softer than that of adults. So when you place their finger on top of a fingerprint scanner, you find that you stretch the skin because it's a contact scanner. The other issue with that as well is that although the fingerprint pattern does not change, the child grows. Therefore, the relative pattern itself changes in scale. Now, existing technology does not did not take that into account when it was being designed because it was designed particularly for adults. So we as the CSIR are looking to develop technology and algorithms that can first find a better way of acquiring fingerprints from children and also model the growth of a child such that the scaling uh, issue does not affect the accuracy that we get. The project is funded by the Department of Science and Technology. Over the next two years, researchers will be collecting biometric samples from miners to establish whether a sample of the ear, iris or fingerprint captured during infancy can be used to verify and determine their identities.